YouTube, this is Jay Bug, and I have another unboxing video for you today. Uh, many of you PC gamers and console gamers are duking it out right now as to who shit is better. Well, you know, it doesn't really matter, folks. You know, this is all for fun. We like to debate. We like to argue. Some of us, you know, we just say shit just to say it, you know, because we like to win an argument. And that's that's the truth of the matter. At the end of the day, it's all about which game is better, which game is um, more fun, blah, blah, blah. And all of the systems, like the Xbox 360, the PS3, uh, the PC, the Wii, um, and whatever gaming systems that is currently out there, or the past consoles that are out there, people are still enjoying, it's all about the games, okay? And every single one of these systems have really great games okay so what can we do to better the consoles that we already have okay that that's the question and and in this boxing and this unboxing here I'm gonna show you a device that's gonna make at least one of the consoles hopefully a better gaming experience okay and let's unbox it it came in a package I was kind of disappointed. I thought it would be packaged a little bit better than this. But here it is. It's for the PS3. And it's the Eagle Eye. Okay, so basically what this device does is uh, convert your USB mouse keyboard into a PS3 controller. Um, that's what it does, basically. And it only works for the PS3. So hopefully with this device, we'll make the gaming experience a little bit better. Uh, not that it's not good as it is uh, now, but uh, it'll be uh, hopefully a little better with this device so when it comes to first-person shooting. Um, it's supposed to work with your, most of your um, first-person shooting games. So we'll hook it up and get it working, and um, hopefully uh, we'll give you a review video soon. Um, Let's uh, go ahead and open it up. Now, I was looking into this uh, device before, and I opted not to get it because, um, you know, uh, I I gotten used to uh, the console controllers for first-person shooting, and these days developers have pretty much mastered the console controller for first-person shooters. So I didn't really see the need to get this device, but recently uh, my son showed some interest in it because I guess um, he he wanted to uh, start playing some console games. He's a big PC gamer, uh, and uh, I guess uh, he wanted to use the keyboard and mouse as all PC gamers do. So I thought about it and I said, well, why not? Why not get it? It'll make an interesting unboxing video, and also I I, I still wanted to try it, give a product review of it. Okay, let's open it up. I've looked online. Um, you know, it's got pretty good reviews. Um, uh, some good. I mean, a lot of good reviews. Um, some bad. It's got the uh, program switch here, play switch here. It's got the two USB uh, plugs for keyboard and mouse. And then you have all your uh, turbo settings here. Um, and then you have the uh, switch here for uh, key map 2, key map 1. Okay. And then it comes with, of course, looks like a little mini CD disc for the interface okay so we'll read the instructions on this uh, get it installed it's gonna it's gonna be kind of a a, a little uh, issue because now I gotta figure out a way to uh, place the I guess place the keyboard and mouse somewhere in front of the TV set uh, so we can uh, play the uh, PS3 um, unless I'm going to move the PlayStation 
three to a desktop and uh use use uh a um i don't know maybe move it here uh and use this setup here I can do that, but I don't know I gotta move a lot of junk around here as you can see well uh, what I'll probably do is um uh use a coffee table to put the keyboard and mouse and just uh sit on the floor and uh do it that way and I think that's one of the main reasons why console gaming is reluctant to use keyboard and mouse is because a lot of these uh consoles are set up in the living room uh, on the, the main t television set and there is no desktop for you to put a keyboard and mouse so basically I think that's one of the main reasons why console gaming have uh, stayed away from keyboard and mouse. Um, it's that uh, con convenient f uh, factor of being able to hold the controller in your hands while you lounge, while you sit, lay back, or or lay down, uh, while you play games, or uh, while you're sitting on the sofa, stuff like that. Um, you know, when you have a device like this that allows you to use keyboard and mouse, you have to pretty much be sitting at a desk. Okay, so. Um, I think that's one of the main reasons why they have stayed away from con uh the console gaming have stayed away from keyboard and mouse and uh all these people who talk about p c gaming is gonna take over and console gaming is gonna die out i you know that's um that's really uh far fetched speculation because uh, you know as far as i'm concerned uh, people don't people are lazy number one and I'm one of them. And they don't want to get off their asses off that comfortable sofa and go sit at a desk and play 10 hours straight. Uh, you know, yeah, you're hardcore PC gamers. Sure they do. They they like they like to uh, sit there and uh, play hours all day. That's my. I mean, you let my son do it. He he'll he'll wake up and till he goes to bed, he'll be sitting there all day playing um, games on the PC. But I don't. On the majority part, mainstream uh, people, they uh, they're not gonna do that. Um, but anyway, I digress. Digress. Okay, so uh, we're gonna hook this up, give you a demonstration. But this is the unboxing. Um, let's cross our fingers and see. Uh, hope that it works really good. I'll give you uh, my feelings on it after we played with it a little bit. Um, catch you later. Thanks for watching. Okay, uh, one other quick thing that I want to mention that if you want to use the keyboard and mouse on your PS3, you don't need this device uh, to do so when you're web browsing and uh, chatting, text chatting and things like that. Um, when you're using the keyboard and mouse for those things, you don't need this device. Okay, you can plug a keyboard and mouse directly to the PS3, and it will recognize the keyboard for uh, typing text, and the, it will recognize the mouse to move the on-screen cursor when you're in uh, the web browsing mode uh, and such. But uh, for playing games, Okay, for playing first-person shooters, I believe you do need this device. So, um, that is one thing that I wanted to point out before you guys um, uh, rush out there and get this device just to hook up a keyboard and mouse to the PS3. You don't you don't need this device to do that if you're just going to use it for web browsing and and things like that or texting. Uh, but for gaming, yeah, you do. I believe you need this device. So that's I just wanted to make that clear.